Zinnias are one of my favorite flowers to add to my summer garden. I love tucking them in and around all the vegetables growing in my garden. And in today's video, I'm going to share my best tips for growing zinnias. But if we haven't met before, my name's Angela from Growing in the Garden, and I love to share garden inspiration and helpful tips so you can be successful in your own garden. For years I planted zinnia transplants from the nursery and was always disappointed with the results. They didn't seem to do that well. But then I started growing zinnias from seed and I was amazed at the difference. Big beautiful plants with beautiful blossoms. Zinnias are so easy to start from seed. You can do it a couple of different ways. I like to start seeds indoors just a week or two before my last frost date. Zinnia seeds are really easy to plant. Simply put the pointy end down in the soil and cover lightly with soil. Zinnias sprout in just a couple of days. You will be amazed how quickly those seeds sprout. Once those transplants are a couple of inches tall, I bring them outside and transplant them in the garden. It's also really simple to plant zinnia from seed directly in the garden. Wait till the soil warms to about 75 degrees and then plant those seeds directly in the garden. Space your zinnia plants between 6 to 18 inches apart depending on the variety. You want plenty of room between your plants so they can grow large and have plenty of airflow around the plants. Amend your planting area with plenty of compost. This is often all that zinnias need for the whole growing season. You're not going to need to add extra fertilizer to zinnias as they grow. Choose an area that gets plenty of sunlight. Zinnias like sun. Here in the low desert, they do best with a little bit of afternoon shade as that Arizona sun can get a little bit intense in the afternoon. Plant different varieties of zinnias. There are small varieties and large varieties. Put smaller types at the front of a border. Large varieties do great at the back of a border. Zinnias require regular water to grow well. Water the entire root zone each time that you water zinnias. Zinnias do not like getting their leaves wet. When you water zinnias, water the soil, not the plant. Water on the leaves will cause problems with brown spot and powdery mildew. Take care not to get water on the plants. That sun will burn those leaves. There's one thing you can do when your zinnia plant is about six or eight inches tall to have big, beautiful plants and that is to cut that central stem back to above two sets of leaves, just like you would do with basil. Cutting that central stem back tells the plant that you want a nice big full plant with lots of stems rather than one tall plant with just one stem. Cutting the plant back when it's young is the best thing you can do to encourage big beautiful plants. Zinnias do best when they are harvested often. Zinnias make an excellent cut flower and last for about 10 days in the vase. Once zinnia blooms are cut, they're not gonna open anymore, so cut them once the petals have opened. If you're like me and love to enjoy zinnia blooms in the garden, make sure that you deadhead those blooms as they begin to fade. Deadheading the blooms encourages the plant to produce more blooms. At the end of the season, leave the largest, prettiest blooms on the plant and allow them to dry fully. Let the petals dry completely on the plant and then harvest the seeds. Save some for your garden next season and to share with friends. Butterflies, bees, and other pollinators are drawn to these beautiful flowers. It's easy to see why I love planting zinnias in and around my garden for summer color all season long. Thank you so much for watching.